I ever fail, just know I'll go again I never quit, cause I know that every loss may lead to another win I'm going up I bet when I land, they gon' tell me it's luck again See that I'm winning, it's harder to watch I'm setting the stage, you should give me my prize You ain't got no soul, you lacking the spirit You talk that to me, I'ma Man, listen, y'all Man, listen, I walk outside And car films are started on the car, man He said He gonna use his spare time And get this suspension right That boy done jacked it up and got got the wheels off. He said he ain't really had no issues. So um he's starting on the rest of it now. Y'all know I'm a system, but this his project, man. So I want him to learn as much as possible, man. But uh this is what this thing looked like. Sheesh. Ain't none of this stuff been touched in years. I mean, probably the only thing been touched, maybe the rotors and, I mean, the brake pads. There's some good brake pads on there. Them new brake pads. But we ain't dealing with none of that, man. We getting that up out of there. Look at that, y'all. That boy even put his QA1 shirt on today. That sponsorship. Represent. Yes, sir. Y'all might not see no QA1 today, but uh, we're going to start busting this thing down. Um, I don't know when he's going to post his video or whatever, but I ain't trying to post nothing until after he posts. Um, but all this is him. So uh, the next step, he want to go ahead and bust everything down. So he going to go ahead and take these uh, calipers off. So you know it's back here, right? Yeah, that, that's what I was looking at, but... Yeah, but you can't use these. You're going to have to use a socket with it on there. So you're going to go have, have to get the toolbox, probably the yellow toolbox. <clears throat> but yeah, so calipers, so the top and bottom bolts are here. And you probably need to go in and just grab you some, um, some PB blaster too. Because, you know, all this stuff rusty, so... But, uh... Yeah, man, we about to get on this bus down. You know what I'm saying? Me and Car Films collabing. But uh, he about to go get the rest of the tools, man. And um, and I'm going to help him bust this thing on down, man. It don't take all day to do nothing. That's what my homeboy say. It don't take all day to do nothing. We, got, we out here probably, I'll probably be out here about an hour, maybe two, depending on what's going on. It's Friday. I know wifey want to spend some time. You know, we don't really get to see each other too much during the week because we working, we work different shifts and stuff like that. So we got to make time when we can. So I'm going to give out, you know, let her know I'm going to be about an hour or two. And then we're going to do our thing for Friday night. But yeah, 87 SS boy, car films. We about to get active, man. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified when we turning these wrenches, man. Let's go. So yeah, we back, man. Um, we just had to do a little setup, you know, get a little QA1 photo, you know, a little QA1 photo shoot, get some reels and shorts and stuff. But um, the QA1s will not, the QA1s will not be going on in this video. They will not be going on in this video. It's gonna be a couple videos, man. Because for one, I'm not like the person at the shop that's going to put all these new parts on here on top of all this rust and then just put it back together. I'm going to tell you now, that shit don't look good. I don't care what nobody say, but you do what you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I ain't going to hate or nothing like that, but when you clean it all up, man, with them new thousands of dollar parts, it look a whole lot better, man. These shops ain't gonna do you right like that. If you do it yourself, you're gonna get it right. You're gonna clean all up in there. You're gonna clean the frame up. You're gonna put the new QA1 upper and lowers in there. Your new uh your new tie rod ends and all that stuff. Your new rotors and all that, new spindles. You're gonna make it look good. Them shops ain't gonna do that for you. Them shops ain't gonna do that for you. Do it yourself, man.
I'm telling you. Like I said, though, the whole, the, the QA1s would not be going in in this video. Like, once we get all the old stuff out, we got to clean it up and make it look pretty. That's just how we do it over here. Like, however you do it, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? But that's how we do it. And we're going to make it look good. So, y'all stay tuned. We about to get real active, man. That boy about to get to work. Let's go, car films. So, um, somebody did tell me, they was like, man, I want to see every every boat y'all do on this. I, I can't promise you that. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll it be real long. I'll be running out of space on my phone, all kind of stuff. So, we're going to get what we can get, and that's what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give y'all everything that I can, um, this is not a hard thing, especially taking stuff apart. It's not really hard. So um, I'm going I'm to do the best I can to get y'all as much footage as we can. But um, we're going to go ahead and get started on this thing, man. I'm, I've been wasting enough time with videos and walking around the car and all that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go. Yeah, it fit. That one fit, but you're going to have to figure out how, to, how you're going to be able to get it off. <clears throat> Thought you were ready. Phone about record. dead. Huh? To record? No, I thought I'm I'm just saying I thought you was ready to go. Oh uh, yeah. I was just giving out the trust. Yeah, so you got the Allen wrench on there. You just gonna have to make it work. Oh. So think about which way you going to because it's backwards. So you gotta go the opposite way uh -oh. that you think it is. So you need to go down. But also, so you need to change them gloves too. You need to put on the, the better gloves. And when you go get the gloves, grab a hammer. That way you can just tap it and, and loosen it up. <clears throat> and sometimes it ain't gonna be easy and be able to work the way that you think it's gonna work. So you gotta, you gotta modify it. Sometimes you gotta pull that hammer out, dog. Look at that. And that bit moving. There you go. So both of them loose now. Man, I'm out here failing, my boy, man. Why y'all ain't telling me? I need to turn this wheel, man. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. It'll help out better if we turn that wheel. Oh, you gotta get the, you gotta get the key though. Had my boy out here struggling, man. I ain't even, I ain't even think about it. We need to turn that wheel so he can get to it better. But you know, things happen, man. Uh, Y'all try to say I'm a professional and I know what I'm doing all the time, man. It ain't like that, dog. So, yeah. So, you turn that wheel and then you can get to it a lot easier. See that? Now you got space to get to it. And you can put it on there and uh and turn it as much as you need to. But, yeah, we'll get back with y'all, man. Like I said, I ain't going to bore y'all and show y'all all this stuff, man. Once he get the caliper off, then we're going to get back. So this boy working, man. Got the caliper off, got the rotor out, and bearing and all that stuff. So now he's trying to find that cotter pin back there on them castle nuts on the for the upper and lower uh, spindle nuts. Uh, bunch of bunch of dirt and grime up in there, man. And we ain't, I know somebody saying something about the calipers hanging in the brake lines and all that. We ain't worrying about all that because it's gonna get replaced. So we ain't worrying about all that. All that's gonna be new. So we gotta go through this whole car. It's been sent for, what, 15 years or so. So we going through and replacing everything. Just slowly but surely, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so do you see a, do you see a cotter pin in there? I think it's right here, but. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the part that's gonna suck, is the cotter pins. Uh, you, you're gonna get, need to get some some needle nose pliers. <clears throat> they right there. I get them. So, yeah. 
we're gonna get back with y'all, man. I ain't gonna bore y'all with trying to take this cotter pin out and all that. We're gonna get the cotter pin and castle nut out, and then we're gonna get back with y'all, man. Y'all stay tuned. So we back, y'all. It ain't take but a minute. Uh, we got the the lower, the upper and the lower uh ball joint castle nuts off. We already know the ball joint's gonna be new and all that, so instead of us wasting time with them cotter pins, man, we just went on ahead and broke them. We threw the we threw a socket on top of the castle nut and just started turning it. They break real easy, so that's what we did. And now we're gonna go ahead and bust these, um, we're gonna go ahead and bust these uh, ball joints. We got our big hammer. We ain't using no new school tools. We going old school with it. So we just gonna bust these things on up out of here. So, and we got the, got the top ball joint, the upper ball joint broke off. We probably ain't gonna worry about the bottom one because we might just pull all that out together. We'll see. But uh, right now he's going in, he's getting those bottom uh, uh, shock bolts. So we're going to undo the bottom shock bolts, but we're going to leave the top one in there. Because when that when that spring pop out, this spindle is going to give us some, some protection, as well as that shock being in there going to give us some protection. As well as the sway bar end link and the sway bar. So we're going to leave it. Um, we're gonna leave those parts in there if we can and um, and go from there But yeah That boy out here working man. I ain't I ain't doing none of this for him. This boy is working So If y'all feel some type of way Go ahead and get your ass outside and start working on this project man Because this guy right here is putting in work It ain't that hard man It's too it's too big or too small, too small. You sure? Yeah. I thought them bolts was the same size. So it's probably a half. Try this half. <clears throat> I thought them was. Yeah, that's that. That's it's a half. Yeah. All right. Well, it's probably actually a thirteen, but yeah. whatever. As long as it, as long as it worked. But yeah, the power tool done say the day, man. I don't know why we ain't grow out that in the first place. So yeah, we're gonna get back with y'all, man. He just all he doing is pulling out the uh the bottom bolts. Get the turning. Yeah, there it go. So he just pulling out the bottom uh Bolts. Let me get your phone started so you can so you can be recording. Hey, we doing three things at one time here, man. He recording, I'm recording, we working. So y'all bear with us, man. We'll be back. All right, YouTube. Hey, we at the exciting part now, man. Uh, everything is pretty much unhooked. Uh, the only thing is the spring got to come out. So the way that I do it is um, take the bottom two bolts of the shock out. I leave the top one in. I only take the bottom two bolts of the shock out. That way it has, like if the spring decides to pop, like it got something to kind of, you know, hold it down, hold it back a little bit. Also, I leave the spindle on there. I only, I only uh, disconnect the top. And the bottom, we hadn't even broke it, which we ain't gonna have to anyway. And, uh, and actually, uh, my homeboy, I was talking to him last night. He said it is probably good to keep the sway bar end link on there for a little extra protection as well. Um, so we got us a long pole, got us a long pole right here. So I'm gonna have our car films. He gonna be, he gonna be out here pushing that spring, and I'm gonna be out the way somewhere just in case that thing goes flying. You know what I'm saying? It might go flying, but it ain't. It ain't because. We we gonna be careful and we gonna do it right, man. It ain't gonna go flying. Small thing to a giant. But let me turn this wheel so that spindle will be uh the other way. Turn the wheel so the spindle will be like in the front of it. See? So I turn the wheel, the spindle will be right there in the front. So that spring ain't really got nowhere to go. Um I mean, y'all can, if y'all doing this at home, y'all can take my advice and do it this way or do it any other way that you know. But this is the way that I found that was the easiest and the safest. Um, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and set this camera up. You already got your camera going? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my camera up and we're gonna get this thing done, y'all. Um y'all y'all stay tuned, man. Them fingers crossed, man. We <laughs> hey God got us, man. It don't matter. Whatever way works, whatever way get it up out of there. It don't matter. So what I got, I'm gonna let the jack down a little bit. Got a little pressure off the jacks. Uh, you know what, I was supposed to, the only way to leave that shock in there is going to be turn it. You see how it's right here like that? Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's going to turn without us loosening this up. Oh no, it'll, it'll just release. Hold on, it'll just pull down. It's a shock. It's a little bit different than from when I did mine. So, go ahead and see if it'll it'll move any. any. You need to get over to the side more. Right yeah. All right, hold on. Try to let some of the pressure off of it first. Said I was gonna let you do this, my bad. That don't seem like this these springs got as much pressure as when I did my car. You know what? It might be honestly. I see now, I think it's because of that uh that sway bar in link. So now that I think about it, probably when I did mine. I actually uh, took the sway bar in and it Man, both our phones went bit, went dead during recording this, man. But um, he just went in the house for a second. A little brief intermission, you know what I'm saying? He just went in the house for a second, so I'm waiting on him to come back so we can finish up. Uh, so what we was trying to do is lead that sway bar in link on. But when you do that, it doesn't let the control arm all the way down. We could have just loosened it up, but we decided to just go ahead and take it all the way off. I think that's how I did it on mine as well. But I mean, we almost there, man. Uh, we, just, we got the jack under the control arm. We're just gonna let the control arm down and then we're gonna go ahead and pop this coil on out of there. Uh, so my son should be coming back in a second. I'm gonna let him do, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let him do the work. Uh, and we're gonna get back with y'all, man. Y'all hold on just a second, man. Waiting on him to come back outside and then we're gonna get back to work. Man, when I tell y'all doing this as well as recording is a is a job, like that's why sometimes I do stuff, I don't even pick up the camera, man. But uh, like I said, we both both of our phones went dead. He back outside now, so we about to go on and get this thing back cracking. You ready? We're using this long pole. So you'll be, like I said the first time, like be out here somewhere. Actually, I might put my camera back somewhere. See, this spring, this spring seems weak, man. Look at that. They normally don't move like that. This thing ain't gonna go nowhere, I don't think. See that? They don't normally move like that. So what you, what you gonna be doing is, uh, Hold on. So what you're gonna be doing is just trying to pop it out of there. But let me let it down first. Hold on, hold on. 
Don't try that yet. Oh man. Like it's already, it's already out. That spring is weak. Well, it's not, hold on, it's not, it's not all the way out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, all right, go ahead. Just stay back. You need to move back some more. You need to get low and that way you can go around it. Just trying to be careful, man, but we got it out of there. <laughs> and I wanted you to be the one to get that pop. You know what I'm saying? You got to send me the end of that clip. Then stop? Yeah. Oh, it's all right. But yeah, I wanted you to be the one to pop it out, man. I know it took longer than expected or whatever, but I wanted, I wanted to be him. This his car, his project, man. So I want him to be all hands on, man. Uh, it was a little bit different than when I did mine. It took me a lot longer. It took us a lot longer to get this spring out. We also got a lot more space out here than we had uh, with the other two. But we done. And nobody got hurt in the making of this video. Go ahead. Spring is out. Yes, sir. Huh? Oh, yeah, that spring. Like I said, see, that one is under a lot of tension because it's. See? <clears throat> but yeah. So now you can actually get your, your upper and lower control arms out of there. That was like, I mean, it's, it's not the hard part, but that was the dangerous part of it, which I never actually saw a spring actually fly out like that you know, fly out, but it always just pop out like it just did. Um, but we still try to be careful and protect ourselves as much as possible. <clears throat> All right, y'all, we faded back in, man. Lower control arm is out. Look at the difference. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Big difference, man. Big QA1, that's what's going in. And we got with that old crappy stuff, man. Uh, so we almost there. Um, just gotta get the top, the upper control arm out and the shock. And we'll be in there. Listen to them old raggedy bushings. So now that we got that lifted up, all we gotta do is access these two bolts here, this one and this one. And then uh, this, shock boat and then we got full access to do all our grinding and cleaning and everything and painting and then get everything back together and then to it but to do it man come on with it all right y'all upper upper control arms and lowers are out i always like to do a comparison of the old parts so this is the upper, and then that's the lower. Big difference, man, big difference. So only thing left on this side now, that upper control arm gave us a little trouble, man, but we got it out of there. So the only thing left now is just to get that shock out of there. Um, I gotta take a break because I gotta get on daddy duty. Somebody wanna go to the, go on, go to the water side or something like that. So uh, I'm about to take my other son. I don't know what car film's gonna do for the rest of the night. I don't know if he's gonna go and try to start some on the other side or not. But um, we right here, we, we, we here now, we here now. Ain't no suspension under there. We gonna get everything going, man. We gotta get this, I'm gonna get this shock out of here. 
And then I'm gonna holler at y'all a little bit later, man. I don't know if this is gonna be the end of the video or not. Uh, so this side still gotta be done. Like I said, we're not gonna record this side. Um, well, I'm not anyway. Uh, we already did this driver side. So we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side and get all this stuff out of here and get the cleaning and get the installing. Yes, sir. All right, YouTube, everything is out. Everything is out. Last part was the shock, got it out. And now we bear on this side. We bear, we bear, we bear. Um, so like I said, I'm done for the night. I don't know how long this video gonna be. Um, if it's long enough, I'm gonna go ahead and upload it. If not, then I'll probably add a little more to it, but that's all it is, man. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, man. My son did 90, probably 95% of this himself. 90 to 95% of this himself. Um, you know, is it, it ain't that hard, man. Especially taking stuff apart. It's not as hard as putting stuff back together. Because when you take it apart, you can pretty much do anything you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with his, so one issue that I had with mine, when I took the uh, shocks out, I had to end up cutting this bolt. I had to end up cutting the shocks out. His cooperated a little bit for us. Um, so we got those on out. Um, but yeah, pretty much the same concept of when I did my car, but I feel like his was a little bit more, you know, rusty. But uh, we're gonna clean all this up, man. Take this sway bar out. Thing small too. Um, new sway bar. We'll be going with a new QA1 sway bar as well. Uh, but this is where we at, man. Hey, y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we turn in these wrenches, man. Let's get it. 87 SS boy, car films. We working out chill, y'all.